God, I feel like I've been abandoning this channel for a while. So I do have lots of footage, especially since Inktober I've been recording every single day I've done of it. But then it turns out I wasn't as happy as I thought I would be. I did improve quite a lot, but still not. I'm still not in a place where I want to be where I thought I would be. So, leaving that for next year. So, uh, the subject of today is just a horse painting I made for one of my girls. Um, I don't know if you guys know. But I'm actually not a professional artist. I don't, it's not my main source of income. And I'm actually a teacher. Who would have said that? <laughs> well, anyways, I do teach um, seven and eight year olds, and then I have another group of teenagers. And the seven year olds are just the most wonderful, wonderful age ever just because I experience pure happiness and uh, they're always thankful. I feel like since Thanksgiving is coming around I will feel like very thankful for every single thing I have around <laughs> but anyways um, a few so how did I come to painting horses? I've been painting horses for quite a long time now and I do love enjoy them um, I've been growing up seeing horses and I can tell you guys that I'm quite fascinated by them. Whenever I, I right now I don't have the opportunity of seeing them as often just because I live in a city and I work full time and um, that doesn't give me much free time but whenever I have the opportunity of ex escaping somewhere I take my cameras and as soon as I see a horse I'm snapping as many pictures as I can of it. So they do tend to be one of my main sources of painting around uh, object, subjects of painting sorry. Uh, also apart from birds I also like bird watching and I take quite a lot of pictures of them and well ge animals in general I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you guys will see that this channel for the next maybe 10 to 15 videos is going to be quite random when it comes to subjects, just because I've decided to ask my kids in school um, what their favorite animal is, and I've just decided to paint for them. Now some of them have told me animals and some of them have told me movie characters such as Harry Potter. And of course I'm not gonna upload those footages just because I've used reference, I've used pictures of Harry Potter as reference and they, whenever I do make a commission or I do make a painting that's not in my sketchbook, I do want the picture to resemble the real thing, if I could call it real, quite much. So. I don't want to get into copyright problems, so I'm just not going to upload those. Uh, but other kids have asked me for paintings of dogs and horses and birds, and those are are things that I actually have my own pictures of, and I could probably just post some post some without fe being fearful that I would steal somebody's work. Well, it's not actually stealing, but I do want to be respectful towards those things and just keep myself quite real. So, um, so why did I decide to do that? Well, a few weeks ago, I've been given one of the most beautiful presents somebody could give me. Uh, one of my little seven-year-olds has decided to ask her dad to play the guitar for recording a video and she actually recorded the dance we were working on at the time just because I am um, in my school we spend about 15 minutes learning and singing along to a new dance every month so we've been practicing this song and she just decided to send me this video where she's singing along while her dad is playing the guitar uh, the song we were practicing at the time and it has been just the most wonderful thing um, kids just find 
these beautiful ways of telling you that they care about you or that um, you are a part of their life and I've been so overwhelmed and so happy and I've just decided like uh, there must be some way I have to thank her for this apart from keep on doing what I'm doing so I decided to make her a painting of a bird duh of course <laughs> but then as soon as the other kids saw it I actually looked at their face and they they were so I mean their face was like oh I wish I would have, ha have had one of those so then well I decided why not let's do this as a very way ahead of time Christmas present so I decided to ask each one of my kid like what's your favorite character or what's your favorite animal and I have quite a few of them who actually asked for a horse so there's gonna be quite a few paintings of horses um, I've asked I've had two of them asking for a unicorn and man do I love painting horses but unicorns are a pain I mean just because they mostly ask for rainbow hair and that's like one of those things that just gets me bothered when there's too many colors together it gets me distracted I don't know why but hey that's what they asked for that's what they're gonna get and well I'm just going to upload videos of the paintings of animals they've asked me for or of characters if they're original ones um, like I told you before a girl asked me for Harry Potter so there's no way I'm going to upload that one but I do post pictures on my histories, on my Instagram channel, if you guys want to check it out. Um, however, those histories, well, you know, you see it and then 24 hours later it's gone. So I'm only going to post that there just because I don't want to take advantage of somebody else's work. And, well, that's how I came up with the new videos and I'm probably going to have at least 13 to 15 video footages just of those I, I still have quite a lot of the Inktober footages but I've just felt like I'm not ready yet and I'm not at that point where I should feel proud about most of the paintings so as I was painting more I was getting more demanding on myself and then by end by the end of day 22 it just felt like it's been a waste of my time because I'm not where I'm supposed to be yet and I still have to learn a lot about value now if you guys ask me about well why do you have this channel because it started with makeup and now you just turn it into a painting channel well I just feel like I'm way too old for teaching girls young girls how to put makeup on just because my skin is not as elastic and I did become more demanding on what I put on my face so I've decided to change the subject so I'm still probably going to post makeup videos just not as, of, as, as often as I used to um, apart from that, well, I would like to make a video about why did I start painting doing makeups and why did I change to uh, paintings. But it's pretty much because I do find makeup another way of art. It's just instead of using a blank canvas, you just use a face. And I, that was one of the ideas why I started doing makeup. I just thought. Oh, I like painting on all surfaces now what not why not on faces so well I hope you guys like this painting of a horse and I hope you don't mind my rambling around too much about it and I've already given this painting to Emma and I know she's been more than happy to receive it I just wanted to upload this video and maybe look back in time in 10 years time and see this video and remember how happy she was to receive the painting and how happy I was to paint it for her. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!